Okay, let's review the veins above the diaphragm for the cat. Just to reorient you, here is the heart, here's the apex, here's the right auricle at the base. Here is the pre-cava coming off of the uh, top of the right of the heart. Before the pre-cava enters the heart, there is a tiny vein towards the back called the azygos. So on the right side, just before the pre-cava enters the right atrium, there's an azygos vein. Let's go back to the pre-cava, travel up. Here is the internal thoracic vein, otherwise known as the internal mammary vein. I'm gonna to go to this juncture, and instead of going, well, I'm gonna to go to the juncture, let's travel this way. So let's go to the right. Here is the right brachiocephalic trunk. Let's hold off on the jugular and go towards the arm. Here is the right subclavian vein. Now the subclavian, right after the right subclavian, there's gonna be a split. There's a down and an up. Let's go towards the up. The branch that goes up is the right subscapular vein. Come back, the branch that continues down would be the axillary, the right axillary vein. Now that I need to move into the arm itself, here's the cat's uh, upper arm, the brachium. So this is the right brachial vein. As I'm moving towards the elbow, this is the cat's elbow here, there's a break again, and one of these goes up towards the anterior part of the elbow. This is the right median cubital vein. I'm gonna back all the way to the center again, and let's go up this time. Here we've got the right brachiocephalic trunk. Here is the subclavian, but let's go up to the jugular, and the jugular is gonna trace itself all the way up. We're just doing the external jugular going to get to this bridge across to the other jugular. This bridge across the trachea, you can tell it's the trachea because it's hard. The bridge across the trachea is called the transverse jugular vein. Okay, so back down to the beginning.